Hi and welcome to another tutorial on coding in C-sharp. In this tutorial we're going to look at arrays. Arrays are basically a list of items of the same type that are grouped together in one container. So unlike variables which can only contain one value at a time, arrays can contain many uh, different values. Okay, um, But arrays contain items of the same type. So for example you could have an array of multiple string values or you could have an array of multiple integer values or floats. Um, so they're items of the same type all grouped together in one container. All right, so um, for this tutorial, what we'll do is create two different arrays. We'll create one of string, um, of string values, which will store people's names. And we'll make an integer array as well, which will store um, the ages of people. Okay, so let's um, start by saying what type of data is going to be in the array. So we'll start with string and then open closed brackets and then we specify the names, the name of this array which will be names and then equals and then in curly braces we are going to add each value um, stored inside this array or each item stored inside this array. So um, these are going to be string values so we need to put them inside quotes. So we'll have four names here, we'll go with uh, Jim, Kate, uh, Sam, and Sally. So we've got four people here. Okay, so that's our string array. So it's of type string. It's uh, the name of the array is names, and then we have four values here, separated by commas, stored inside uh, curly braces, and each value is surrounded by double quotes because they're strings. Okay, if we want to create an integer array, we say int open closed um, square bracket, and we could say um, the name of this array is ages, and then in curly brackets we can put each of the um, each of the ages. So we'll just make these up. So 26, uh, 18, 49, and 33. All right, and because these are integers, we don't need to put those inside quotes. All right, so we've got two arrays here, one of string type and one of integer type. If we want to um, access items in the array, what we can do is refer to the name of an array and their index. So in C sharp, arrays are indexed starting from zero. So the zero index, which means that each element in the array has an index number and that an indexing starts from zero, so that's counting from zero. So Jim has an index of zero, Kate has an index of one, Sam has an index of two, and Sally has an index of three, and so on if we had more items in the array. Okay, so say if we want to get um, the second name in this array, which happens to be Kate, then we would refer to its index of one because indexing starts at zero. Okay, so what we could do is we could say um, console.write line names, and then in square brackets, we put in the index of the um, element we want to get from this array. So if it's the second item, which is Kate, then what we can do is uh, say one. So it has an index of one. Close that square bracket, close the bracket. And we can do the same thing for ages. We'll say console.write line. And if we want to get maybe this last age here, which is 33, then it has an index of 0, 1, 2, 3. So we say 3 for that fourth element in the array. All right, so let's try that out. We should see Kate and 33. Cool. All right, so that works well. So basically, we've created two arrays and we've accessed the items in each of those arrays. We could also, if we wanted to, uh, create a variable and make that variable equal to a value in the array. So if we wanted to store one of these names in its own variable, and we can do that as well. All right, but what we'll do now is we'll have a look at something we looked at in one of the previous tutorials, which was for loops. Now, for loops are quite handy um, for when you want to go through each individual element in an array. So if we want to maybe display all of the names in an array, then we could do that. So what we can do is, um, we can start by creating a variable called array length. So we don't actually have to do this, but it just makes our code a little bit 
cleaner. So we could say int array length equals, and then what we can do is refer to one of our arrays and store the length or the number of elements in this array in this variable called array length. So we'll we'll get the names array. So names dot length. All right. So this variable array length will store the number of names in this array. So one, two, three, four. There are four items or four elements in this array. So this will be equal to four. All right. So the length of an array is the number of elements inside the array. Okay. Now we could go and display that if we wanted to. Say console dot right line array length. Whoops. And it should say, we should see four. And we do, we see four there, okay? Now what we can do is use this variable to go through the length of the array and go through each item in the array and display it on a new line using a for loop. So we're gonna say four int i equals zero. So we'll start counting from zero, which is handy because uh, index in, uh, indexing in the array starts from zero. And you could say, um, keep repeating this loop while i is less than array length. And for each iteration of the loop, increase our counter i by one. All right, and then in curly brackets, um, for each iteration of this loop, maybe what we can do is just display that uh, name in, that we're up to in the array. So if we go through each name or each person in the array, we can display their name. So we can say names and then in square brackets use that counter i and uh, basically when we start for the first time going through this for loop we'll see names zero because i is equal to zero. Okay. And then when uh, we display out the first, we display the first name, which is Jim, has the index of zero. I will increase by one. We'll check is I still less than the length of the array? Uh, yes, it is. So I increases by one, it becomes one. So then we'll display console dot, we'll, we'll display names I, which is one. So names one, which is the second element. And then that will increase, I will increase by one, so it'll become two. So we'll display names two, which is Sam, and so on until we hit the end of the array, and we reach the array length, and we no longer display any names. So let's go and test that out. We should see each person's name on a new line. And there we go, Jim, Kate, Sam, and Sally. All right, we could also, um, maybe if we wanted to, if we had like a, a big list of names, we might want to check if um, if a, um, a certain name exists in the array, what we could do is we could have an if statement here. We could say if uh, names i is equal to Sam, so check does Sam exist in this list of names? Is there a person called Sam in this? Um, list of names, and if so, we could display a message saying uh, Sam is here, something like that. Okay, so let's go and test that. And we see that message Sam is here because uh, basically the for loop goes through each item in the array and finds Sam and um, displays that message. Okay, so it's basically how to create uh, arrays in C Sharp, also how to access individual elements in an array and use a for loop to go through the elements in an array. Thanks for watching.